Hey, Wanda and Lucy Beckham students. My name is Devin Ostom, and welcome to East Cooper Student News. Here's what's coming up on the show today. Two, one. It's CTE month. We'll show you all the cool stuff happening around the CAS, plus ECSN covers new development in the Mount Pleasant community and a fun Valentine's Day themed man on the street. It's February 16th, 2022. All of that and more is coming up right now on East Cooper Student News. Welcome to ECSN. For two years, we lived under the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic. The virus shut down schools, cost millions of people their jobs, and nearly a million deaths nationwide. But right now, the country is starting to get back to normal. Schools are open, cases are dropping after the Omicron wave, and if you take a short drive around Mount Pleasant, it looks like business is booming. Around the Mount Pleasant community, there has been significant development, and recently, students at Wando have taken notice of construction near campus. Being built directly across from Costco is a shopping center known as The Bend that will showcase Emoji Poke Bowl, Great Greek Mediterranean, Front Porch Cafe, and many more to come in spring 2022. Business owners are happy about the growth. Everything is pushing towards North Mount Pleasant. So with Oceanside Collegiate, Wanda over here, but all and dolls, you know, everything is moving this way. All the development around town really isn't possible without skilled people doing specialized jobs. The CAS is all about teaching specialized skills, and all February long is CTE month. This month, CTE teachers have scheduled more than 10 guest speakers for their classrooms, from engineers to marketing professionals. Also this month, classes completed hands-on projects like launching the rockets you see here. Even our show, ECSN, is part of CTE month, Shining a light on CTE courses like these is all part of the teacher's effort to show kids how beneficial it is to take CTE classes in the CAS. So engineering is incredibly important in our world. When we drive on a road that's designed by an engineer, when we think about the parks we enjoy, that's designed by an engineer. When we look at the buildings we live in every day, that's engineers and architects working together. Engineering isn't the only program you can get involved in at the CAS. The school offers 17 different programs and 22 different career majors. All these programs are designed to give students the skills and experience they need to prepare for real jobs in real industries. Over at Wando, 12 seniors have made their decision of where they're going to play college sports. February 2nd was National Signing Day. It's a day where seniors sign their national letters of intent to play sports at the next level. Wando has students going to college for baseball, football, girls soccer, and swimming. And as these seniors move on to the next level, they have a strange but rewarding high school athletic experience to look back on, particularly over the last couple of years. With COVID and everything, that was a huge setback. And it was very hard. Swimming is one of those sports where it's just constant practice every single day, practice in the morning and the afternoon, um, and like seven to eight times a week. And when COVID hit, like it really messed a lot of people up, but I was able to like get back tr on track like really, really fast. 2021 high school state was very, very fun. But even like the little moments of like swimming in practice and you're laughing so hard with your friends where you literally can't even swim, <laughs> that's probably my favorite. Sophie is headed to University of Tampa to swim. Congratulations to all the Wando athletes who signed to play college sports. Signing day was two weeks ago, but Valentine's Day was just two days ago. So far, you participated in our Valentine's Day poll. We asked you if you have been hit by Cupid's arrow this year, and 65% of you said no. Most of you also think Valentine's Day is overrated. 58% of our viewers think the holiday is overrated. ECSN reporter Amelia Chico hits the halls of Wando and Beckham to find out more about what you guys think of Valentine's Day. Hey everyone, I'm Amelia Chico and today we're asking questions at both Wando High and Lucy Beckham. What celebrity would you want to be your Valentine? Tom Holland. Louis Partridge. <laughs> Tom Holland, 100%. Kim Kardashian. That, can it be a guy? <laughs> Brad Pitt. Zendaya. Zac Efron, 100%. Megan Fox. Pete Davidson. It would probably be Zendaya, because honestly, Tom Holland seems to be having a lot of fun. And yeah, y'all agree with me, you know? I don't even know. Kylie Jenner. 
Probably Rick Steves. <laughs> my celebrity crush is my boyfriend, so that's my Valentine's. <laughs> uh, Chris Evans. Captain America. Yeah. Dylan O'Brien. Um, Zac Efron. Selena Gomez. I'm probably Zendaya. Kim Kardashian. Yes. Selena Gomez, no question. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, he's like real cute. Pete King. And why do you think we celebrate Valentine's Day? Cause of love. I think Valentine's Day is a good day to support your loved ones that have done a lot for you. To celebrate love and our, our relationships in life. I think sometimes you need to show that you love someone even if it's just on a rare occasion. And I think Valentine's Day is a good time to show that rare occasion. To make money for Hallmark and stores that sell candy. I think it was about like some sort of like forbidden romance or something. And like the only way that they could get into contact with each other was through some sort of notes maybe. I might be totally wrong though. So we can like cherish the people we love yeah. for life. Even though I hate Valentine's Day because I'm single, but it doesn't matter. You know, just love each other. You know, especially someone in your life, you gotta celebrate it with them, so you pick a day, you know? Why? Because love. Love is in the air. Um, because industries want to make you buy chocolate. <laughs> it's just a good day to spend time with my boyfriend since we're always busy. It's just like a time of love and stuff, you know, like getting your boo things and everything and, um, yeah, just spending money and wasting money. Thanks, Amelia. You guys also had a strong opinion on Valentine's Day traditions. Nearly 70% of you said that chocolates were a better gift than flowers. And just over 70% of you think that the candy hearts are the worst Valentine's Day candy. The votes were much closer for your ideal date. 39% of you said the best date is a fancy dinner, while 37% of you said a movie is the best date. One movie that's gotten attention around our area this year is a new Apple TV movie, The Tragedy of Macbeth. On our last show, we told you the story of Lucas Barker, the Wando sophomore who plays a role in the movie. Well, that movie now has three Oscar nominations. The movie was nominated for the Best Production Design and Best Cinematography. Denzel Washington is also up for the Best Actor for his role as Macbeth in the movie. If you tuned in to our last episode, you saw our ECSN teacher, Mr. Fabiano, was asked very interesting questions about eating some very hot wings. It's a new segment worth calling Hot Takes, modeled after the popular YouTube show. Today, CAS Assistant Principal Dr. Brasini takes a hot seat on Hot Takes with interviewer Caesar Inquist. All right. I'm Caesar Inquist. Welcome to Hot Takes. Today I'll be interviewing Dr. Brasini. Anyone could eat that, no matter if they like spicy food or not or whatever. Yeah. It's just good. Is there anything you would like to see changed or improved upon at the CAS, Wando, or Beckham? I would love to see the involvement come back to pre-COVID time. So as the cases drop, um, and it's safer for us to you know, be in school without masks, do meetings before school, after school, bring guests in, I would love to see that involvement really come back. Oh yeah, oh that one took a little bit longer to kick in, but it kicks in. Alright. Mm, I feel good. I feel real good. Oh, that one's hot. I hate the taste. It's not that good, that's why I'm... Again, that's just hot. That's hot, why? Why? I can't imagine putting that like on an entire like wing and eating the whole thing. It's still hot. I'm Caesar and Chris with Hot Takes. I'm really struggling right now. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Brasini. Yeah, it's good times. Feel good. <sighs> I don't. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to see the rest of the interview, you can visit our Instagram and YouTube page. That's all for our show. If you like the show and want to be a part of it, scan the QR code on your screen to apply. After you apply, reach out to your counselor and be sure to register for media technology and class choice when you're planning your classes for next year. Thanks for watching. I'm Deb Nielsen, signing off for ECSN.